you're going to want to pay very close attention to this video because in the next couple of minutes, I'm going to give you a CRO 101 and give you a masterclass on how you can increase your revenue per visitor on your e-com store. I'm Oliver Kenyon, co-founder of ConversionWise, and this is episode number 66 of Optimization by Oliver. In this video, I've chosen the brand Brooklinen and I'm gonna break down exactly what I would do if I was hired to run CRO and to improve these guys' revenue per click. Let's jump straight into the first page. We're gonna tackle the PDP straight away, the product page. And this is a big transformation. As we can see in the previous design, these guys have this massive product title above the fold. And what it does is it pushes everything else below the fold. And it's a big no-no. Instead, number one, we've just used a one-to-one -one ratio for image. We pulled it right up and we supported it with image thumbnails so people can clearly view that there's more images in that slider. Number two is we've added social proof. Now, instead of just saying X amount of reviews, and by the way, these guys have so many reviews, we've actually added the terminology happy customers. It just enhances it and makes it a lot harder hitting. Number three, we've laid the price out a lot easier to read. If you're doing sales, if you have discounts, the way to do this is strike through price first, then new price, but then actually working out the monetary saving in a pill will really, really increase the visibility of that saving and therefore people will understand it a lot clearer. And number four is we've used these clever little color swatches for people to clearly see what choice of sheet or bed sheet that they are picking. Instead of actually just using colors as a name, we've actually used the pattern so that people can visibly see, we've moved them from down below the fold to within the same fold as the product image. Therefore, when they're clicking them, the image changes and they don't have to scroll up to see what they're clicking. Page number two, is one of my personal favorite pages to optimize on a store and it's the collection page. And people get this really, really wrong. There's two objectives of a collection page. One is to allow people to actually see your collection. And two is to allow people to easily filter through your collections. It's almost like taking people into a physical store and giving them what they want in front of them. Now, if you took people into a physical store when you knew they wanted to purchase and put all of these barriers to entry in front of them, they're gonna walk straight back out. And that's the same on your collection pages. And you'll notice how these guys have this, again, really huge title and really big description above the fold, and it just pushes everything further down. Instead, we've condensed it, we've added that social proof, and most importantly, we've added these sort and filter buttons, which allows people to get quickly to where they want to go. We then push the product cards above the fold even more. We've used really nice labels on the cards to inform people of products that are low stock, best sellers. Again, it just removes any doubt. It just tracks attention to your best sellers so people are more than likely to purchase especially on a first time view. And then moving down to number five, we've also added a quick view button to the product cards so people can then open a modal and they can just make a quick buying decision on that modal itself. And lastly, the homepage. And I really love this transformation. First and foremost, if you look at the before, they have this big chunky notice bar, they've got really small text on it and no one really wants to click on terms to apply. Instead, we just have a clear, precise message. 15% off your first order, sign up now. That sign up is underlined, it's clickable, it takes you to the collection page. Number two is we've used this aesthetically more beautiful image. It actually showcases the product in a natural setting. I think it would lean way, way better to clearly display exactly what these guys do and sell. And I think it's going to increase their conversion rates. Number three, we've added social proof. Why wouldn't these guys have social proof above the fold on the homepage? I don't know, but they have so much of it. I'm going to shove it in front of people's faces. And number four, we've used this clever and quirky headline. It's bold, it's in front of people's faces, and it really speaks about the value of the product. We've then supported that with a bigger call to action with the directional cue and the word now. And then we've even managed in number five to get these as seen in icons and logos that really help enhance the trust and credibility. Now, if you've enjoyed this video, let me know down in the comments below. Make sure you check out our YouTube channel for plenty more videos like this. And if you want some more page breakdowns, you want an entire course around conversion rate optimization for under $50, click the link below the video. You're going to go straight to our academy and I can't wait to see you on the inside.